Today I'm installing a Tesla charger for a customer and the problem I had with this is he needs 240 volt power and in his garage and this is the only access I had. I couldn't go anywhere through the inside of the house. This door right here, this is a stairway to a basement suite so I, I, like, I can't go over it or anything. So what I've done is the panel location is right about there. I piped inch and a quarter pipe, PVC pipe along the outside to that LB over there and inside the garage this was about 25-30 feet away and that's the only way I saw to do it. Here is the Tesla charger we're installing. I've already opened it, opened up the back of it. This is what we're gonna do. So I've got the cable inside the garage right here. It's a number eight cable. It's a three wire, but I only need a two wire, but it's what I had on me. So the idea is to basically come into the back, one of these knockouts over here, install this, wire it up, and that's it, pretty easy. All right, I've got the charger mounted. I got a connector here, the cable is coming out. And the charger comes with a little baggie of screws, a zip tie, that kind of stuff. Um, it's recommending that if I'm using the bottom hole that I go around over here and then it comes with a little supplied zip tie that I can use to uh, secure the wires. And basically it, it just wants me to come in the instructions over the top and into here. Um, right here, three screws. It doesn't really look like screws, but in that little bag of goodies there's a, a bit, I don't know, it's kind of like a almost like a ball end sort of Allen key kind of shape. And this bit actually goes in here and you can loosen up those screws, put the wires in and tighten it up again and then zip tie everything and it's all secure and then just pop the charger piece on. So to make this work, you need about, I've got this black wire here. It's about a foot long, maybe just a little bit more. That's about the length you need to to use this and kind of wrap around and come into the top over here and like I said I used a three wire because that's all I had with me so this white I think I'm not going to cut it off I might just leave it in here maybe just kind of coil it up somewhere we're out of the way uh, just in case I mean if ever in the future it's already here so why cut it off in the future if anything ever happens and you know with one of these wires there's going to be a spare one that they can use so it's wired up, I've got my black line one, red line two, my ground, and I have my white that is the extra wire. I just coil it up in here, just leave it for future use if it's ever needed, if something ever happens to one of the other wires. Uh, one thing I've noticed, this little bit that they provide, it's really short and even if I want to put it into one of my, uh, like a nine in one, kind of fit it in there so that I can use it. Uh, it's too short and I can't I can't get it in here so I just basically got my own set over here and I just put this in right here and just with this Allen key just tighten it up okay I'm about to put the charger in so here it is and I guess all I'm supposed to do is just kind of slide it in over here slide it in okay and Pop in those two screws over there on top. And same thing on the bottom. There's a couple screws and here they are, they're provided. These black screws right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. The charger's installed. Now I'm gonna go and wire up the other end of it into the panel. And then we'll turn it on and make sure everything's working. I'm at the panel here. I've got my cable inside the panel now. I mean, it was really, really difficult to get it in here. I had about eight inches of space from the outside. But the cable's in here. I got it bonded. All right. The white is an extra wire. I'm not using it. I'm just going to leave it in here. And my red and black, my line one, line two, I'm going to put her on this 40 amps right here. I'm going to put on this breaker right here and 
power it up. The breaker's on in the basement. And here we are. You see that breathing effect, that green light. So everything's installed, should be operational. Uh, the last setup in the instructions or the last step in the instructions is to connect to Wi-Fi and I guess set this thing up. So I'm gonna leave that part for the owners, for the homeowner to do that. I'm not gonna connect to their Wi-Fi and do all this, let them set that up. But otherwise everything's installed. It was actually pretty easy to install this. Um, I had a little bit of, you know, of a tough time getting some screws in these ones on the top and the ones on the bottom I had to really push that charger towards the wall to actually get the through uh, screws to thread but overall it was actually really simple to install this